Hello everyone, Kevin Fan here. Hope everyone's having a great day. And uh, today I got a review and patch notes for the uh, PUBG Xbox test server. So this was a pretty big update. It was 10 gigs. Um, they added in a bunch of things that hopefully will help the game out. And um, this will be running from May 5th, which was yesterday, through May 7th. Um, they you can play on Miramar and Erangel this time, not just Miramar, so that's nice. Uh, and you can play in first person or third person in solo, duo, and squad. After yesterday, they decided uh, for today to add in first person for all three game or three game types. So that's a uh, definitely nice. Uh, so let's get to some of the changes that they put in. Uh, let's start with the settings. Uh, game settings are now grouped up by category. Uh, which is nice. They got graphics, audio, control, and gameplay. Uh, colorblind settings have been added. Uh, crosshair settings have been added, and you can choose between many different colors. I run red, but you can put on the normal white, black, pink, purple, blue, cyan, green, yellow, and red, which is what I run. Uh, the only reason why I run that, which I know is not a very good color, but I run it because that's my color on the battlefield. So, yeah, that's basically why I chose that one. Uh, it's probably not the best color to choose. I wouldn't recommend it for too many people. But, yeah, it's okay. They added in a new slider interface, added an option to adjust strength of game controller vibration, uh, added an option to set dead zone uh, for left analog stick, and they uh, messed around with the aim acceleration, which uh, can now be completely disabled if set to zero. Uh, I've heard that you can go to zero or ten. I have mine at ten because that's what I was told would work. I think it just works upon which console variant you have. So, yeah, I have mine on uh, the standard uh, ten, which I forget what it was at before that. Uh, they also added in the game controller function guide. They have also messed around with the scopes in the game. Uh, they expanded all scopes field of view. Uh, they changed them around basically. Uh, the four times, the two times, and the eight times are most greatly affected. Also the 15 times is. I haven't gotten my hands on it. Uh, which it still broke apparently on Xbox. Like it takes forever to move across your screen. But yeah, they changed the field of view on them. So they look a little bit different. The four times looks really nice and the eight times as well. Uh, they added a parallax effect when moving weapons quickly, added vignetting, darker edges, chromatic aberration, color difference caused by light refraction, and a distortion effect on the edge of scopes. Uh, they also did uh, some things out of game menus, UX improvements. The cancel matchmaking UI has been improved. You can now cancel matchmaking by holding the X button on any screen except the settings menu. Uh, they improved the UI that indicates that matchmaking is in progress. Uh, that is progress that is now displayed. When a match is found, a countdown will appear. Transition speed between menus has been increased, which I've noticed a little bit of that. Uh, two new menu items have been added, customization and store. Uh, so they're a little different. You can go to the store and buy 100 crates per day, um, which is what I did, so I took up a lot of my 1 million BP that they gave you. Uh, to get a box, go to store, then the crates. To open the box uh, you received, go to my items in store. On test server, the number of boxes has been limited like to 100, like I said. Uh, and then after launching the game, a single simplified loading screen pops up before the lobby appears instead of many different screens. Then here's a few more changes that they added in. Uh, emotes have been added. Uh, Emote UI will show up if you press LB and RB buttons at the same time. You can choose uh, an emote by using the right analog stick and pressing down with, with the right stick to use the selected emote. Uh, they added in some contextual on-screen pop-ups and explain button functions which you can cut off in your settings. Uh, I saw it right away and luckily it was in a solo that had uh, only 76 people loaded in at the time so I had time to mess around with my settings and things like that. Uh, they added in new grenade hit effects and animations. And they've removed the grenade's knockback effect for player character when dealing non-lethal damage. Which I've noticed a little bit of that. Um, and then some bug fixes. There was a bug causing players to sometimes get stuck in a leaning position caused by going prone while leaning. 
how they fix that. Uh, fix an issue causing punching to slow down movement while sprinting. Player can no longer see through walls by going prone near houses with stone steps and Miramar. And in new spectator mode, water sounds sometimes uh, inappropriately continued after changing perspective. They fix that. Uh, when preparing to throw grenades, a projection visual visualization no longer inappropriately penetrates through objects. Which is a nice touch that they added. Um, so that's the main gist of everything. I'm going to link the patch notes down in the description. Um, but yes, the this patch was massive. And it's going to do a lot for the game. I can't wait for it to hit the regular PUBG. Um, you know, Miramar is definitely a nice map. Uh, not my forte. I'm not the world's biggest fan of it. But I enjoy playing on it. And enjoy playing on it with some of my friends. But, yeah, I'm just more excited for these um, fixes that they're going to add in. Um, I wish that they would do something maybe with the to make the aiming not so clunky. Because, like, uh... Although it's not that big of an issue, but it's just still, like, aiming sometimes is just, eh, potato aim. It's just, it's just everywhere. I don't know. I, I do enjoy, um, the update. The, the scopes are amazing. Uh, I love the four times now. The two times even just seems way easier to use and user-friendly, so I'm enjoying that. Um, I just really can't wait for them to add this stuff to the regular game. And uh, I want to know what you guys think about it. Uh, I've only crashed like two times, so I want to see how many times you guys have crashed in the test server. I think it's running fantastic. So you guys tell me down below your thoughts uh, in the comments on the update. Did they do enough? Did they uh, not, you know, appease you with everything that they've done? Tell me down below what you think that they should mess around with and or fix. And until next time, this is Cassin, signing off.